Shadi not only gets bail, but if his bail was up to a million dollars, he would have got that too. Me and the notification gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Hey, don't forget to check out the link of the day in the description. You got a choice. You got talent. You got a chance, and I won't hear about your environment, what your mama didn't give you, and the white man won't give you no shot. You got a chance. Use it while you're still alive. You don't know what death is. You have no idea what death is. BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I so. Yeah. So Shoddy, Treyway Shoddy, has gotten bail. That's right, he got bail. I personally always thought he should get bail. Like I told y'all before, um, I'll just let you hear the clip. When your bail sponsorman is there waiting for you at court, even when they hold you back mad hours, this nigga got bail money. Got that million dollar bond on standby. Holla at Treyway, hey, Anthony Bell's Bondsman, Empire Bell's Bondsman, we the fucking Bell. Yeah, I'm ecstatic. Um, sorry to the people that hate me and don't like me. Um, shout out to the people that really do their jobs, the, the CEOs that do their jobs, the officers that do their jobs. Um, the ones that don't do their jobs, fuck you, it's Treyway. Empire Bell's Bondsman, Treyway, Anthony, fuck it, hold on, hold on. Holla at me, man. Get your money right. Get your money right. Don't come at me. I don't do payment plans. Get your money right. Get your money right. He was there waiting. Like I said before, I didn't think that he was not going to get bail. Um, I didn't see any reason for him. Okay, so this is how this usually works. When you go and you turn yourself in, nine times out of ten, your lawyer has spoken to the DA or an assistant DA or whoever the hell. And they've had already had some kind of communications with one another. And then they decide where you're going to turn yourself in, when you're going to turn yourself in, to whom you're going to turn yourself in. And that already kind of like starts the chain of events in order for you to be able to get bail and get free. So I always thought he was going to get bail. Uh, they gave him bail. Okay, so as you can hear, he has like a million dollar deposit on the bail thing. I guess they want niggas to know. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? Um, so uh, he's definitely covered on that end. But uh, one thing I want people to understand, he made a point, and it was a very important point, and this is a problem that we do have in our justice system or our prison system or however you want to call it. He was talking about how they held them for a long amount of time unnecessarily. Before anybody start trying to talk some crazy shit like he's like he's lying, I'm letting you know right now they do that. Okay, so a while back I had a little bit of problems with the law. I was on Rikers, right? So on the day I was supposed to be released, one, they decided to, re I got released. I was, okay, a lot of times they get you and you at night, especially if you've been there some time. They get you and, and you leave at night sometime, right? So they made me wait all the way from the night, all the way, all the way into the next day. That's one. Two, after they made me wait all the way, all the way to the next day, they was about to make me wait all the way to another day. If not for, um, like, I, I don't want to say a warden, but, you know, one of the higher officers and shit came asked me who I was because I was just standing around, like literally at, they had one point, they kept taking me out the cell, putting me in the cell, taking me out of cell, putting me in the cell, the same damn cell. They wasn't even moving me. So they were supposed to have put me on the bus and shit me out. But for whatever the reason, they just didn't, they didn't even have a reason. They just didn't. Then they said I was supposed to go do something. So the person took me to go do the thing I was supposed to go do. Right. So then after I got finished doing the thing I was supposed to go do, they brought me all the way back. Then when the freaking, um, when the person came back, uh, what well, this is when the person came the first time and they saw me, they tried to use the excuse that I had to go do that thing. So the person said, okay, take them right now. So then they took me to go do the thing again for the second time. The people see me, they said, yo, we just did this. They sent me back. 
So now I had to wait like another, I don't even know how long it was, into the freaking, the, 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 you know, the higher up, the, the supervisor, whoever the fuck that was, came back and saw me again and said, why do I keep seeing this guy? Let me explain something to y'all. After they finish your paperwork, if you are still in the building on their premises and you get hurt or you get injured, you could sue them. So the supervisor was like, get this guy out of there. Well, they was busy trying to play games with me. You understand what I'm saying? That's what they was doing. They knew what they was doing. They was playing games with me. Because they what they wanted me to do was, they wanted me to get belligerent. They wanted me to do something so they could hold on to me longer. You understand what I'm saying? They wanted me to act out, yell, scream, curse. A while back, they had a guy that he punched one of the um, officers in Rikers in a fight or something like that and beat him up and then he got let out like a week later <laughs> i'm not laughing about that but what i'm saying is they sometimes and i'm talking about the co's there sometimes and I, I don't think he was on rikers i don't know where he was i'm talking about rikers sometimes they do shit on purpose to antagonize you to cre try to create a situation so then when when it's like when you see sports and you see the guy hit the guy first and the, the ref don't see that, but the guy, the ref sees when you retaliate and then you get penalized. And that's basically what they be trying to do often. I'm telling you because one, I seen it happen to other people when I was there and two, I witnessed it happen to me. They really wanted me to spaz out. And then on top of that, this is how you know they was trying to get me to do some weird shit. They was, ba they was leaving me outside the cell all by myself and everybody go disappear except for one person. You know why? Because an ignorant fool would have been then started talking crazy to this mofo. An ignorant fool would have been put myself in a situation where now I'm about to throw hands with a with a with a freaking um with a CEO thinking that me and him got the one on, but in reality these other niggas is waiting around the corner just chilling doing something, waiting to hear if they hear anything for them to pop up out of nowhere and try to, you know, be heroes. So when I hear Remy Ma talk about you know what i'm saying how the justice system is i feel that shit when i hear shoddy talk about people doing their job shout out to those doing the jobs fuck everybody else that's not doing their jobs i feel that shit now first of all just to be honest with you and i know i said this on other videos i think they lined them up i think they set those boys up to go run out there and get into an altercation with homeboys that ended up shooting them. I think on Fifth Ave, I think that was a setup. I've been saying that. I'm not going to stop saying that because that's what I believe that that was. First, they tried to get 6 9 alone. 6 9 did not go for the shenanigans. He left out the building. Then when they went back to talk about whatever they went there to talk about, I personally believe that the security... Talk crazy, amped up the thing, amped up whatever it was, made it turn, made it look like it was something that it wasn't. These guys is ex police or off duty police, one of the two. They're gonna get the benefit of the doubt. Anyway, this video is long enough. I want to know what you guys think about this. He made bail. A shout out to the homie. I'm happy he made bail. I don't hate the nigga. I don't dislike the nigga. I don't dislike six nine. I do dislike having to make so many of these fucking videos sometimes because these guys stay in the middle of shit. But I do believe that if I make one video on something, I have to keep following up on it. So everybody that got comments about how, oh, this must be a 6 9 channel. Was you looking at the videos that I made about Nicki Minaj and Cardi B the other day? Was you watching those videos? Because those videos didn't get a lot of views. Was you watching the videos I made on State of the Culture? Because those videos, well, some of those videos got a lot of views or whatever they do. But was you watching those videos? Do you come to the live streams where we talk about all types of different topics? Okay. I get it. I get it. You just, you're a Taurus. It's okay to be a Taurus. I'm not mad at you for being a Taurus. I appreciate you. You want to know what a Taurus is? And and, and, and and no shade throwing at any Taurus. A Taurus is somebody that subscribed to your channel, but they're not on the notification game. 
They drop by every once in a while. We love y'all too. But don't tell me what the channel talks about all the time. All right? Do me that favor. I love y'all too. If you want me to follow a story, you know what you could do? You can literally send me a freaking link. Say, damn, I'm tired of this guy talking about this 6 9 shit. Anyway, in every single video, he has an email. Why don't I send him a story I think he should be covering? How about that? How about that? Because I have an obligation to cover stories that I start covering until those stories are done. So if Larry from down the block get into some kind of weird beef, I have to keep covering those stories until that shit comes to a conclusion. Not until you say, oh man, I've heard enough about this. So it's not my fault. Once again, my 6 9 videos don't even get monetized. So it's obviously not for the money. I, I, I don't talk long enough on this shit. Anyway, leave it down in the description. I want to know what y'all guys think about it. Um, I'm happy that the young man is out of jail. Well, I don't even know how young he is. We might be close in age. I'm happy that homeboy is out of jail because I thought he got locked up on some bullshit. All right? I thought it was some bullshit. I'm not going to stop saying that. I think that I think that they got set up. Um, they say that the, he hit homeboy with a. Ch I'm gonna need to see some footage. I'm gonna need to see more than some some witness that could have possibly been paid off by the the people in the area. Because come on, Fifth Ave, Fifty Ninth Street. If there's a black person fighting white people, nine times out of ten, the white people, white witnesses are gonna say it's the black person's fault. I'm not even trying to make this about race, but I'm telling you what it is. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.